Rebel's built-in parse function is an important and useful uh, part of the Rebel language. It's used to import and convert chunks of uh, external data into the block format that Rebel uh, can recognize and work with natively, and it also provides a means of dissecting and searching and comparing, extracting, and acting upon organized information that's contained within unformatted text data. Um, its pattern matching abilities are very similar to regular expressions, the type found in Perl and other languages. Uh, but as with many things, the rebel parsing way is, is a powerful and elegant solution. It's very simple to use. Um, the basic format for the parse function is the parse word followed by the data to be parsed, followed by a set of matching rules. And there, there are a couple modes of use for parse. The simplest um, is the mode that um, just simply breaks up uh, text, text file, for example, uh, a tab delimited text file, or some other organized um, bit of text with a delimiter between um, each of the pieces of, of um, uh, or each of the items in that text. And it uh, breaks it up and puts it into a format, a format that Rebel understands, the block format, the one that's uh, surrounded by brackets. And what you do is just uh, specify none as the matching rule in that second half. So you say parse, and you give it some data to be to be broken up and split uh, according to the, the uh, delimiters, and then you use that word none. And the common delimiters that are, that are understood automatically are spaces and commas and tabs and semicolons and new lines. Uh, so for example here, what, what we do here is we, we're going to create some text in each of these examples. And what this is going to do is this first one has several text items that are separa separated by spaces. And we're going to create a block uh, using the parse function. This parse function is going to take that text, uh, use the none matching rule, and c create a block of text, which we're going to call parse block 1. We're going to paste that into Rebel here. And you'll see now that parse block 1 is now a quoted bit of text, another quoted bit of text, three items quoted uh, and included inside the, uh, the block. And that block could be used as any other block. It can be searched and sorted and manipulated as blocks are, displayed in, for example, a text list in a GUI, otherwise manipulated programmatically. Uh, and here, this block, this little text, bit of text, is again, just a block of text could have come from a web page, it could have come from uh, reading from a file, and we're going to convert that into something that can be used to manipulate into Rebel. Again, it's just separated by commas, as are all of other these other examples here. This one is separated by some more space. Uh, this one is separated by semicolons. Uh, this one is separated by uh, a um, comma and then a space. Uh, in this one, we've got some quoted, uh, comma delimited um, text bits, and this one is separated by new lines. And we'll see if we run all that code, every single one of them, uh, when we look at the what the parse block is that's created, you'll see every single one of them evaluates to the same thing, it breaks up those things inside there, and converts into a rebel, uh, a rebel block uh, of quoted items. And you could use that, for example, say, for example, you're working with a, uh, a CSV, comma, separated value file created by a spreadsheet or a database application. That's a pretty typical format for data to be stored in um, by, uh, uh, by other programs. And it's been around for a long, long time, sort of a uni universal format. Uh, you could use that none rule to import CSV files um, so that those CSV files are automatically converted into native Rebel data blocks that you can use then display the information in those files uh, easily in Rebel. Uh, you can also uh, split um, files based on some other character that's used as a limiter. This is not one of the default ones, but you can specify any uh, text as a delimiter. So for example, here the text is separated by asterisks, and this will do the same thing. It will convert those uh, items because we specified now a uh, rule, a uh, parsing rule as 
the asterisk symbol. In this case, and symbols are, are separating the text. This makes it real easy for us to go and, um, uh, for example, eliminate characters in, in text that don't need to be there. We can get rid of characters. Um, in this case, we've got an and character in between again. Um, you can also mix up uh, delimiters. In this case, we've labeled or listed two different uh, characters, the and character and the asterisk character. And you'll see in the middle of the text, we've got an asterisk and an and. In the next example, we do the exact same thing. Uh, we've put those delimiters in, in reverse order, but it doesn't matter. It's going to use any of those characters that it finds in the text as a delimiter to separate values up and put in different blocks. And you'll see all of these things, all those examples, will evaluate the same way. Again, to apple, orange, and pear. So we can look for any characters and chop up the information um, put into a block so that we can do things with it. Now what we're going to do here in this next example, we, we got a bit of text separated uh, by uh, new lines, by carriage returns. The symbol for a carriage return in Rebel is this. It's a little um, uh, power symbol and then uh, a little tick mark going up, going up, and then uh, uh, forward slash, slash that tips over to the right. That little quoted bit is the same thing as typing a new line in Rebel. And what we're going to do again is parse the text up above um, using that new line as a parsing role. Now we run into a problem um, because what, what we want to do here, and for example, if we wanted to go through a bunch of text files and pull out uh, first name, last name, street address, city, city, state, and zip, for example, of a bunch of documents maybe that had been scanned in or or um, you know, we're in some other file format, and we want to get that information out of those files and put it into a way, uh, into a format that we can deal with easily in Rebel, and put those, put that information, for example, into a database using Rebel. Um, if that's what we wanted to do, and we wanted to, you know, just just look for line changes. For example, we knew that the first four lines were always going to contain that information. Um, this would give us a little bit of a problem because spaces are automatically included in the parsing rule by default. So uh, parse automatically splits items at the uh, at the spaces also. So if we run that code above, we're going to get a block that looks like this, which is not what we want. We want to have a first name item and a last name item. We want to create a different item from what's on each line. Um, so what we do uh, to avoid that is... Uh, we use this parse forward slash all refinement to eliminate spaces from the uh, delimiter rule. So now all it will um, delimit by is that uh, new line delimiter. So now we get something that looks like this. Uh, we get an item first name and we get an item last name and because that line had a bunch of extra text in it we're also getting that or extra spaces in it. We're also getting those extra spaces at the beginning of each line. We want to get rid of that um, and just have first name, last name, street address, and so forth. So what we do is we can go through that block using for each function, for each item in that block. We're going to trim the item, and trim just gets rid of extra spaces, uh, beginning and ending spaces, um, beginning and trailing spaces. So what we're going to do here is paste that in. Now we've got that block with the spaces, and uh, once we run the for each loop on that, for each item in there, we're going to trim each item. And now, if we look at our parsed block block, we get exactly what we were looking for, the item contained on, e on each line in a separate text element. And we could very quickly run through, for example, a thousand text files that all contain that same information in that format. And if we wanted to put it into a database or um, create a HTML file for, from it or otherwise um, manipulate that data, that's a very useful uh, way to um, work with parse. Now, um, you could pull any sort of unformatted lines of info from any file into your Rebel application.